Okay, here's another good trick that you might like um, for creating um, symbols and working with vectors and making buttons. Um, I'm going to open up a new flash file here. Another thing that you can do is you can get your text tool and I'm going to raise my font size up quite a bit and get black to start off with as my color. And what you can do is you can go all the way down to your end of your fonts to Wingdings and Wingdings 2 and here's Wingdings okay and you can just click let's see here and try out some of the iconographic letters I'm just typing the letters here J K L Z X C V you know and um, Let's see here, and I'll just actually I'll put that there, okay, so that you can see them all. And what's this here? Uh, oh, we got that one already. B N M uh, greater than less than question mark um, one two three, and there's all kinds of um, images here that you could work from. Um, and they're also case sensitive so you could now hold down and go for the caps and see all the other symbols that are available to you okay um, let's see here alright well you get the picture um, there's a bunch of symbols available to you and all you have to do is take advantage of them. So what I do now is um, there's the symbols. I get my move tool, move that into position right there. All right. And what I can do is I can go modify, break apart, and now all these text files are broken up into individual letters. Okay, instead of one big word. Right. Remember, this is the wing di wingdings font or wingding font. Right. So now, instead of um, one big word, or it thinks it's words, now it's individual characters, and I can now I'll just get rid of some of them. Okay. I could take you know the. Uh, you know, the bomb, for instance. Move that down here so it's away from the others. Okay, and then I could take this, select it, and modify, break apart again. Okay, and now it's actually, um, it's actually at a, it's vector art, right? So what I could do now is zoom in on the sucker. I could get hit it with my sub selection tool. You can see the anchor points. I actually have access now to it as a vector image. Okay, by breaking it apart twice down to a vector shape. So I could take it, I can colorize it, alright, I can, uh, let's colorize these two, colorize the whole thing. But not only that, I could take it and um, stretch it, you know, I could uh, make it into an animation, whatever I want to do. But it's kind of neat, and it allows me to use some vectors. And you know, if I'm not really in drawing that much, I could maybe play with some of these things. And then, if I wanted to, I could convert this into a button by selecting it and um, going modify convert to symbol. Okay, so that's just one thing to be on the lookout for: is all of those cool um, icons that are in your wingdings and webdings that can be instantly turned into vector art.